so leading up to spring break, man, life has been so, so busy. So I've, I've been looking forward to spring break because of how busy, you know, life has been right now. I think that I was so looking forward to spring break, even though we were going with the kids, I was just so looking forward to relaxing most and first and foremost walking into the house because we have been looking at the pictures for the past two weeks i could not wait to walk in the house <laughs> like because i knew from how the pictures look basically as soon as you walk in the house was basically just glass windows everywhere then you could see directly you know into the mountaintop so i knew for sure as soon as we walked in that house i just felt relieved and i felt like i can finally just put my bags down i don't care what the kids do we all safe in this house so I just felt like, whew, that's how I felt. And I was just so excited for the relaxation. It was walking into a, a space with a person who I really consider a close friend and just having some bonding, girl time, woman time. So that in itself was exciting because I'm just in this new season. And I told her, <laughs> I said, at this stage in my life, if you are my friend, like you're experiencing the real me does that make sense like at this stage in my life because i've done so much inner work i've done so much healing i've done so much you know just getting closer to god knowing myself more bettering myself all the things it's like if you are a friend in this season you're truly just getting who i am as a person and i and i told her that it's so comforting knowing that I can find a friend in this season when I'm like how for how I feel I know I'm being me and now that I've not been me but just the old me was <laughs> not who I am today so even the old me I was not this fake friend or I wasn't this fake person but the journey that I've been on so many things about myself have evolved I wouldn't say have changed I'm still Michaela but it's just like I've evolved into this new woman so all that to say, this season of friendships um, is really special to me because of, of just that. I just feel like I am my growing into who God created me to be in and have people who rock with me, knowing all of that, knowing who I am now, it just means so much more. I feel so blessed. For when I've been praying for genuine friendships, you know, when for anyone who's evolved in life, it's not that you have beef with people who knew you or were in your life. It's just that I think compatibility shifts and there's so many things that you once bonded over with someone that you just either no longer are interested in, desire to do, or whatever the case is. It's like you evolve from the things that a lot of your relationships used to be based on. And so, like I said, it just in this season, it just feels, yeah, I feel genuinely, truly loved. And not that I haven't in the past. That's why I don't want to keep like, <laughs> I don't want to say that I haven't felt genuine love. I just want to say that where I'm at with it now, knowing what I know about myself, like I, t like I told you, or like you told me, like at this point, like my wall is completely down. So if I'm letting you in and if you hurt me now, it's going to hurt me. Whereas like the old me, if you heard me, it was just like a grudge type situation. But I'm letting you in at the most vulnerable stage of who I am because I have no wall up anymore for people who, now everybody ain't just getting no wall down. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm not just out here gullible and all that. I still am who I am, but it's a really, it's a really good feeling. It's blessed and I feel like God hears our prayers. You got to stay focused on what he's telling you to do, but he'll send some people your way. There's genuine. So YouTube. It was a passion that I, you know, we did a vlog and stuff for like four, four solid years. Loved doing it until I didn't love doing it no more and I got burnt out. Took a break. Found myself. Found God. All the things. And the desire to get back on YouTube came back and I was like, okay, but I don't want to vlog again. For sure, I don't want to vlog again. So what what am I going to do? And I just remember God saying, like, just get on and talk to my people. And I'm like, about what? <laughs> like, about what and when? And how? It, I, I just had so many questions after that. And it, and it was just a simple, like, 
talk to my people type of thing. And I'm like, okay. So boom, I get back on, I say I'm back. <laughs> Without fully processing or, or planning and praying and fasting and just like really like, you know, focusing on what God told me. I, I mean, I guess I did what he told me. I got back on and I started talking to his people, but I didn't have no plan after that. <laughs> I got on to talk to y'all and posted a video. Well, I guess I posted three videos pretty consistent, four videos consistently for like for like a two month period. Um, and truthfully, I guess that, man, um, distractions, um, I think distractions and fear and doubt just like crept in like no other. It's like when we did them four videos, I was like, oh, this is it. We on fire. Like I'm, I'm loving this. And then it's just like something just happened and everything just cut back off again, like out of nowhere. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, like five months have went by since I posted, what is going on? And so then I feel that pressure internally because I told I told y'all I'm coming back and now I've already been back off for five months. So just during this break, it's been a lot of conversations with God and he hasn't really given me anything else besides what he told me to do in the first place. <laughs> and, you know, conversations that me and you have had a lot too about what direction i thought i wanted to get on instagram and start posting reels i thought i wanted to do day in the life content again literally still straying away from like the small simple thing of like get on youtube and talk to my people nobody told you to think about no reels nobody told you to think about this that or the third and i think i've just been running from it because Mm, like when I used to do YouTube, it was just fun. And I really didn't understand like the impact that it was having at all until I got off and people was like reaching out like, oh my gosh, you don't know how much you inspire me and just all the things. And I used to tell Tab like, what am I doing that's inspiring anybody? Like back then, cause I didn't feel like I was. So now it's more like, I just told Tab this earlier today. It's just like, I don't desire to get on YouTube and talk. I don't desire to like be no content creator, but the burden to do it has been so heavy on my shoulders for the past year and a half that at this point is like active disobedience to what God told me to do. Like that's how I feel. And the burden is because we talked like you brought this up when, and it's something that I know, but your assignment or whatever assignment God gives you is just not for you. It's it's for many people who are attached to your assignment. So whether just my kids are attached to my assignment or whether five women or a thousand women, whoever it is, I know that my assignment is attached to other people's, I don't want to say eternity, but just whatever it is that God is calling me to for that specific person or people. So like knowing all that and just the burden of like, I told Tab, it's like I'm not getting on here and showing y'all how to do makeup. I'm not getting on here <laughs> showing cooking recipes or Hey, this is how I'm decorating my house. I'm for me personally, and just being a Christian, like I'm talking about the most important thing in life, which is getting closer to the creator of the world and like knowing how to have a relationship with him. And that's nothing to play with. And I've been running from it based on the seriousness of the topic at hand. So that's just what's been going on. Hmm, that's a good question. So I, I would say before God, because I always believed in God. I, always, I mean, I grew up in the church, but before I guess I really gave my life to, to Jesus for real, for real, there would be days where, you know, life was good. And so, so honestly, like before God, I think you, me, I just kept myself so distracted from the hard things of life that I mean, sometimes life felt fun. Sometimes life felt doable. Sometimes life felt, I can't wait till I can go run to this club, run. You know what I mean? Like life was not just terrible before God, but when life started getting real <laughs> and the little fun phase was no longer a part of life because now I have kids. Now it's 2020 and we're stuck in the house and I have no job. Like. <laughs> Now the fun, distracting things of life 
are no longer available. And I just started to feel purposeless. Like I just started to feel lost. I just started to feel um, unfulfilled. Like inner, like inner unfulfilled though. Like I just felt unfulfilled to my core. And before God, you know, I was a know-it-all. You couldn't tell me anything. Smart mouth, didn't care what I said. Oh, well, this is how I am. Um, grudge holder, mean. God, you know what I mean? Like all the, all the things, all the things. And, huh? Lost. lost. Very lost. But you don't, but sometimes you don't feel lost. Uh, like during like my season before I got like, not all of it, I felt lost. Like some of it I felt, I felt prideful in some of the actions that I had. I felt prideful in saying that I could just walk away from any relationship and not care about it. You know, there were certain things that I was cool if people didn't like me. I didn't care. It just was what it was. So I felt, yeah, I didn't have a lot of feelings actually. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's hard to just say like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of feelings. I was very emotionless. And I would just always just chop it up and just say, well, you know, that's just how I am. Like, nobody can hurt me. Nobody can get close enough to me to like hurt me. Even me and you, like I still had a wall up and I, I guess I felt protected. I guess I felt like because I wasn't walking with God, I gotta be the one to protect myself. Even with a whole husband. Like I just felt like I'm gonna control my emotions. I'm gonna control me. And it worked for a while, but 2020 was when like that mirror started to be put up in front of me and I was hating everything about my attitude, my emotionlessness, <laughs> my inability to love, receive love. Like that's when I started to, so like before God gave me like that wake up call, I genuinely felt like, yeah, okay. Somebody asked me to work on something, I'll try, but whatever. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have a lot of emotions. I didn't have a lot of feelings tied to things. God really just allowed me to just see myself how I had been operating for God know for only he knows how long and it just all just like slapped me in the face within like a six month period and that's when I finally just answered God's call on my heart or knock on my heart because I started to feel so empty and all the ways that I had were actually now showing up is just like disgusting behavior <laughs> like straight up disgusting behavior like straight up like bro how did you have any friends like <laughs> and a man like what is going on you're you out of control i feel out of control <laughs> i feel ashamed like my negative attitude i just i was just and i talked about this and i think it's still posted i was just like literally sick of myself and it was so crazy because I had never, ever felt that way. I had never felt or or had any accountability for my actions. Like, it was just what it was. It just is what it is. Or it was what it was. So, yeah. Pre-God was prideful little me thinking I had life figured out. Thinking I was this way. Thinking it was, you know, this and that. Until life hit me and showed me I didn't know a thing and I was empty and I was lost and I didn't know myself and I didn't have no confidence and I didn't know how to love and I ain't had no real friends, but one, <laughs> two. <laughs> and this, and that, and that, and that, like, it just was like tally, tally up. So, and now, so that, so, and post God has been, the, the feeling has been of, I would just say complete, comfort knowing that like the creator of the world is in your corner so and it's a it means a cliche bible verse but if god is for me who can be against me and like that's how i feel now is just you just know yourself in the truest form and you come to understand like yourself as a person you come to understand your past trauma that is now showing up or did show up in this way or that way and it's just the most inner fulfillment that I've ever had 
And it doesn't mean that every day is peaches and cream. It's just when the days aren't peaches and cream, you have that knowing in your mind that you're not just here for yourself. Because we live this whole selfish life. We live, we live a whole self-centered life where everything is about me, me, me. So when things don't go your way, you throw a fit. But when you give your life to God and you read the Bible, it's life is literally not about you. <laughs> like, it's just not about you. We're here for an assignment. We're here to glorify God and make disciples across the nations to help as many people as we can grow closer to God now that we know God. And actually, life is not about you. And actually, you're going to have a bad day. And the Bible does promise suffering. And so it's just coming into the knowing of, um, you know, just this new life. But it's been joyful, like inner joyful. It's been so much more purpose. It's been so much more genuine connections that I have with people. Um, it's been, even now you still got to put the mirror up, but it's, I'm way more like open to changing behaviors and working on this and fixing this and just finding the joy in all the things that I'm continuing to work on because for one, me becoming a better person, and now I'm a better wife, a better mom, a better friend. And you just feel better. It's, it's just, it's good to be nice. <laughs> like being mean is just nasty. And I just, I find so much joy in just being kind and just having this new aura about myself where literally like early in my walk, I remember we had went out to eat and the girl was just like, oh my gosh, you're just glowing. And I was like, oh, thanks. And I probably didn't have no makeup on or nothing. People can see your inner joy and they're drawn to that. And that's, we are literally supposed to be lights in this dark world, but we should have people that are naturally drawn to us based on how we're portraying ourselves. We're just interacting with people. And I just find a lot of joy in just this new life. It's simple, but I love it. I love it here. I'm committed to the call that guys put on my life. <laughs> And it's literally all of our purpose to spread the gospel. And so we can all find joy in knowing that each of our purpose in the soul, in the deep parts of our soul is to spread the gospel, make disciples across the nation, worship God. Now we all have different assignments and different passions and things like that, that you can uncover based on what you're interested in and things like that. But I am committed to just sharing my journey in real time. I think that's the biggest thing that I want to focus on is that I'm still walking, I'm still growing, I'm still evolving. And all of us are going to be doing that. All of us are, as long as we're alive, and every day you wake up, you gotta strive to follow God every single day. You gotta strive for righteousness every single day. You gotta strive to be obedient every single day. Is it gonna be perfect? No. Are you gonna get it right every day? No. It's just my journey and how I can help you on yours. It's just giving all of me to God and sharing me with y'all. We might could just put this lipstick on and get there. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. But you're obviously beautiful. This is just enhancing your beauty. And yes, the most important reason I'm coming back is for sure obedience and God is calling me. But I, I really love y'all. I really, when I post a video and I read y'all's comments, y'all just don't know how much it fills me, encourages me, lifts me up. Um, and I truly get teary eyed just reading y'all's comments. I truly just um, want to thank all of y'all who have been supporting me since day one, been patient with me since day one. And has all, have always just encouraged me, whether you reached out on Instagram to check on us. Like when we got off during COVID, so many people was just like, are y'all alive at this point? I'm just trying to make sure y'all straight. And so, yeah, I just, outside of God, y'all are the reason I do this. Because if I'm not connecting with real people, then what am I doing this for? And so I just truly appreciate y'all. And I just truly 
can't wait to just connect with y'all again and get back in the groove and talk to y'all through the camera, talk to y'all in the comments, message me, email me, all the things. And we're just all gonna be on this walk together. Life is a journey and you have to have community. You have to have support. You have to have other people that you can lean on. You gotta have your community. You gotta have your circle. And so we are all in this together. None of us are perfect. None of us have it all figured out. I for sure don't. I'm just the one on this camera that God has put in front of the camera. So um, I lean to y'all for y'all's words of encouragement, your advice. I learned from y'all. And so I just want y'all to know that we're on this walk together. It's so much more that I think that God has in store for all of us and however he wants to flow through me to you and you to me and however he's going to move in this space. I'm just so excited. And yeah, we just in this together and it's going to be a lot. Huh? Oh. There's going to be a lot of, I think, because Tab is visionary. This man got so many ideas. And so I'm just excited to lean into them, tap into them. And it's literally like a us thing. I'm doing this. It's a us thing. And we're going to get through this thing called life together. So yeah, so y'all make sure your notifications are on because we've already been recording some videos. We've, we've been doing a little work. And we got some things that we're already ready to just release. And so make sure your notification bell is on because i don't have like a posting schedule just yet but look out next week for the first one and yeah i'm excited more to come much much more to come i love y'all and see y'all soon bye